Hello, my name is Roman Kreling and today I want to demonstrate you our um, oil quality unit, the Opcom Portable Oil Lamp. The unit is uh, charged up with an external power supply and um, when I start it up you can see that the internal battery um, is sufficient to let the unit run for a long period of time. So I want to show the operation um, when it is just powered by the battery. On the right side you see the hydraulic connections starting with the suction port. There is an internal pump in the unit that is um, just sucking the oil from a reservoir or in our case an oil glass sample. Um, the, in the middle you see the pressure port which can directly take a sample from a pressure line up to 320 bar. Um, on top you see the return line which can um, also pump the oil up to a back pressure of 10 bar back to the oil sample or reservoir. After the unit is powered up, um, we will start a measurement with the pump by pushing the um, enter button. You see currently there is an automatic mode selected, I just deselect that one and start a single pump measurement. You see that the oil is just sucked from the reservoir and also via the return line um, is pump back, therefore the oil sample is brought to the internal measurement cell and is analyzed. There is a um, uh, progress bar on the bottom that is just indicating um, how long the measurement still takes and how far the progress is. On the right side you see a small pictogram for the pump, so that's the pump mode we are currently in and also you see the M for manual mode on top of it. Um, uh, in the right upper corner you see a sign for the battery that is just showing the current um, charge of the battery which is fully charged. After progress bar is at 100% you see the first measurement. Um, we will take another one just to show repetitive how it is done. It's pretty easy, just pushing two times the button and you have the current oil quality. The results of the last measurement are on top of it. You see first line the temperature, second line the relative humidity which is showing the saturation value of the oil according to water. Third line is the ISO reading. You see 4 micron, 6 micron, 14 micron and 21. So the first three digits are representing the ISO 4406C um, reading and giving you the information about the oil quality. When we have finished the next pump measurement I will also show you how you can activate the um, automatic mode. Now you see second reading has finished. Um, we want to activate the automatic mode. For automatic mode we go into the menu by pushing one time the down button. Then you see we have the measurement settings and in the measurement settings there is the option for particle counting. Here we choose the flushing time, measurement time and pause time according to our liking. And if you want to change the digit you can just put on enter button, choose the value you like to adjust. Now we go from measurement time of 40 seconds to 30 seconds and press enter again. If you are satisfied with the settings, you see now 10 times flushing, 30 times for measurement time, 10 times for pause time, so one measurement cycle takes 50 seconds altogether. With the back button, we just jump back to the last menu and pushed it several times, now we are at the start menu again. Still you see on the right side, the manual mode is selected, we want to change that now by pushing the enter button and we are activating the automatic mode. Now the measurement will be done repetitive with the settings according to um, flushing time, measurement time and pause time that we have chosen before. I just choose the pump mode right now, once again you see the measurement is starting and it will be done repetitive. You see that also by the indication of that A which stands for automatic mode instead of the manual mode that we had before. While the measurement is running, I will also show you some additional settings that you can do with the measurement. We have at the second point measurement information. So what can we do here? We can put in several measurement information according to the measurement point that we are currently at. In our case, I just choose 
demo mode or demo measurement and also you see the second part that's the oil we are measuring, it's shell arrow fluid. You can set up to 10 measurement points and they will be stored at the memory as well as you can print them out later on so you will have the information about the current measurement point at hand. I will demonstrate that quickly by just printing out the last measurement that has been taken and saved by pushing the right arrow button and I will be at the short menu here and you see print short, that's what we're going to do now and I just push the enter button to activate the printer. On the printout you see now um, additional to time the place where we have done, that's the measurement point, it's our demo and also the oil type that we have measured. Additionally, you see the oil condition according to temperature and relative humidity. So we see temperature is approximately at room temperature and relative humidity is very low, so our oil is in good condition. Next is the oil contamination. There we have the ISO readings in the ISO classes and also the particle countings that we have measured. Last but not least, you see the measurement of the pressure at the bottom. As we are currently measuring in pump mode, there is no pressure at the high pressure inlet. What is okay? As we have seen now the pressure with the pump, the internal one, we want to change to the high pressure mode. To do so, I will first of all stop the measurement of the pump by pushing one time the back or abort button. Now the measurement stops. I will connect to the pressure port now the pressure line. With that mini mess house. After connecting the pressure line to the unit, I will also connect it on the side of the machine to generate the flow from the pressure port. After doing so, the oil in the return line is just coming from the pressure port, and I will choose. This time also the automatic mode, but not the pump. I will choose from the pressure mode and just activate pressure mode. And you can also see it indicated by the letter P showing on the right bottom that we are now in pressure mode. So the oil is now coming from the system directly with the system pressure and is going back to the return line still in our oil sample glass here. After the progress bar is one time again at 100%, you will see that we have the new measurement values and you can see that the values have changed quite significantly, so our system is much cleaner than our oil sample glass that we have measured before. We will now one time more just look at the menu and look at the data that we have measured in the memory. And you can see this is the last measurement that we have taken, also with the indication of which measurement point it has been and also the oil type. And you will see all the readings of the measurement that we have done. The internal memory can be printed out as shown before, but you can also read it out via the USB port or the SD card. Save the internal data on the hard drive and afterwards analyze it with any personal computer or program you like. I will now just stop the current measurement and also just stop our demo as we have demonstrated it how easy it is to operate our new Opcom portable oil lab and we hope that you have quite fun with our product and you're satisfied. If you have any questions don't hesitate to contact our staff or also view on our webpage the latest documentation to our product. Thank you for your audience and goodbye.